Gypsy jazz is a style of jazz music often said to have been started by guitarist Jean Django Reinhardt in the 1930s. Because its origins are largely in France it is often called by the French name, jazz manich, or alternatively, manich jazz, even in English language sources. The term is now commonly used for this style of music. Django was foremost among a group of Romani guitarists working in and around Paris in the 1930s through the 1950s, a group which also included the brothers Barrow, Seren, and Matello Ferret and Reinhardt's brother Joseph Nenen Reinhardt. Many of the musicians in this style worked in Paris in various popular musette ensembles. The musette style waltz remains an important component in the gypsy jazz repertoire. Reinhardt was noted for combining a dark, chromatic gypsy flavor with the swing articulation of the period. This combination is critical to this style of jazz. In addition to this, his approach continues to form the basis for contemporary gypsy jazz guitar. Reinhardt's most famous group, the Quintet New Hot Club de France, also brought fame to jazz violinist Testiatil de copyright Fain Grappelli. The original quintet New Hot Club de France played acoustically without a drummer, facilitating the use of the acoustic guitar as a lead instrument. Guitar and violin are still the main solo instruments, although clarinet, mandolin, and accordion are also common. The rhythm guitar is played using a distinct percussive technique, la pump, that essentially replaces the drums. Most gypsy jazz guitarists, lead and rhythm, play a version of the Selma McAfee guitar design favored by Reinhardt himself. Although many instrumental lineups exist, a group including one lead guitar, violin, two rhythm guitars, and bass is often the norm. Ensembles aim for an acoustic sound, even when playing amplified concerts, and informal jam sessions in small venues or meetings such as annual the Django Reinhardt Festival at Samois Sassain are very much part of the scene. In Eastern Gypsy Jazz, rhythm section is most likely covered by one or two cymbalums, or a cymbalum and or drums and an acoustic guitar. An upright bass fills out the ensembles. Rhythm guitar in Gypsy Jazz uses a special form of strumming known as la pump, i.e. the pump. This form of percussive rhythm is similar to the boom chick in bluegrass styles. It is what gives the music its fast swinging feeling, as it emphasizes beats two and four, a vital feature of swing. The strumming hand, which never touches the top of the guitar, must make a quick up-down strum followed by a down strum. The up-down part of la pom must be done extremely fast, regardless of the tempo of the music. It is very similar to a grace note in classical music, albeit an entire chord is used. This pattern is usually played in unison by two or more guitarists in the rhythm section. Another important aspect of this style of playing is based on the chord shapes Django was forced to use due to his injury. Standard bar chords are not as common in gypsy jazz. Standard major and minor chords are almost never played and are instead replaced by major 7th chords, major 6th chords, and 6-9 chords. Gypsy reharmonization is often aimed at giving a minor feel, even where a song is in a major key, for instance the substitution of a minor 6th chord for a dominant 7th. Dominant 7th chords are also altered, by lowering the 9th and 13th scale degree, Lead playing in this style has been summarized as ornamented or decorated arpeggio. Decorations often introduce chromaticism for instance, mordants and trills. Particularly characteristic is a figure, where successive notes of an arpeggio are each preceded by an apogeotura-like grace note one semitone below. Other decorations include tremolo and string bends on the guitar, staccato, ghost notes, harmonics, octaves, double stops etc. Arpeggios on the guitar are typically executed as patterns running diagonally from the lower frets on the lower strings to the upper frets on the upper strings. Such patterns tend to have no more than two stop notes per string, relating to the fact that Django could only articulate two fingers on his fretting hand.